Now, thousands are expected to gather in Maragana to remember the fallen miners of the 2012 massacre. Police shot and killed 34 striking miners on the 16th of August. Ten police officers, security guards and other workers were also killed, leading up to one of the most tragic days in our democracy. Amku President Joseph Matunjwa will address the gathering, but ENCS senior reporter Avi Wimdila is live in Maragana and joins us live now uh, for the very latest from where he stands. And Avi, we're good to have you back colleague what can you tell us about uh, what's been happening so far as today quite a significant day in commemorating this uh, tragic day I have to say exactly 11 years ago good morning to Melo any moment from now we're expecting then uh, the official from the underway right in front of the copy of course where those brutal killings happened 34 mine workers gunned down on this day 11 years ago at the hands of the South African police service. They say that justice delayed is justice denied. Some of the sentiments that we've been hearing, you know, uh, in preparation for these commemorations. In fact, I have the legal representative of the 34 uh, mine workers that perished here on this day 11 years ago. Let's find out what has happened and maybe what has not. Thank you for joining us, uh, Asadati Dugela. But maybe get to that crucial question of what has happened over the last 11 years and what hasn't happened for the families. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, in the last 11 years, really, not much has happened in relation to justice. Uh, very little has been, justice has been administered by the state. Very little commitment has been shown by the state in terms of delivering justice for the families and the victims of Maragana. So we are at 11-year point and we still remember Maragana for being the po first post-democratic massacre uh, that has taken lives at a mass uh, level and just like the other massacres that occurred during apartheid not much has been done in terms of justice and delivering justice and ensuring that the families feel like they are being vindicated of their their constitutional rights which are violated in Maragana. Okay, maybe let's just chisel out what exactly has happened and what exactly do you still want going forward? So in 2015, on behalf of 36 families, we launched a civil case, a civil case where we were claiming for damages, five heads of damages. And the state has only circled on one head of damages. And in the last five years or so, they've been running around refusing to get on a roundtable discussion with us to discuss how we circled the outstanding lost, uh, heads of damages. Nor have they cooperated in taking the matter back to court to, for the court to determine um, uh, how the, the outcomes of the matter. But not only on the civil part, in terms of criminal um, liability, not much has been done. In fact, almost nothing has, been, nothing has been done in relation to the events of the 16th. We have seen prosecutions now that are ongoing before the Northwest High Court, and they're only in relation to the 13th of August, three days before the actual massacre. So the 34 lives that perished here on, in 2012, there hasn't been any prosecutions uh, for that. There, haven't, there hasn't been a single police official uh, who has answered in court and appeared to answer for what happened on the 16th of August. And it is 11 years later. What happens going forward? So we are still in the pursuit for justice. We are still with the families who are very hopeful and very strong and still seeking justice. And we are still calling for the state to come to the table and show some commitment and, and show that they really want to see that there is justice for Marikana. We are still calling on the current president of the country, who was the deputy president at the time, who has since been proven in court that he was liable in his actions for what happened in Marikana. We are still calling for him to come to the fore and engage with the widows as he has always promised. Remember, in 2018, at the funeral of Mamwini, he made a public promise that he's going to come and see the widows and the widows have been crying since then saying if you want to come and see us if you want to come and speak to us and tender an apology we are welcoming you come true and since then it's been about five years now and nothing has happened so we are still calling on all those who are responsible the government was calling on the president we are calling also on the mind to act responsible and show some some care Okay, and indeed you are with the families here. We have two um, families from the 34 mine workers that passed away. I'm going to start with you. I understand you, one of the daughters of the miners that were killed here by police. This one, what comes to mind 11 years later and for the family? How's the family doing? Uh, like, nah, I wouldn't say we're doing well because ever since my father passed on, I've been on some, okay, I'm that little daughter, he left nine years, I was nine years old when he, he passed on. And now today I'm here, even last year I was here too, but today I'm here 
um, seeing all like where he 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 he, he lay to death, and I wouldn't say I'm happy to come here. I'm not. It's just that I have to come here and celebrate him. I came here to celebrate him, not like I am. I came here to to do anything else or something. Yes. Okay, to celebrate your father's yes. life. Condolences uh, once more, Mama. Let me come to you. You lost your husband. Um, Galemini, well, I said, Eleven years ago, Lunja, no Sapoma. Eh, since the last long mean, I'm 2012. I saw the sonuabe, siloswap, silosapo, cake a sonuabo, settles of Uze sonuabe, see born a justice, Ibamba, Abandu, Abens, I lent a little up. 16 August 2012. So those on no abe babanju ababandi because go kumanexele pray to ele 16. Court akona ni mtu owache siswa yokuwa ubanju. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, one of the widows, of course, of the 34 mine workers that perished here uh, 11 years ago, 11 years ago, saying that no justice has actually been served. Uh, no one has actually been prosecuted for killing any of the 34 mine workers here that are actually uh, protesting for a minimum wage of 12,500 rands. We're expecting the commemoration to be underway uh, any moment uh, from now, and of course, we'll be taking that as it happens. Yeah, absolutely, colleague, and that's what uh, some would say uh, makes the healing process that much more difficult for the families, given the fact that no justice has been served for their loved ones, for their providers um, at this stage. We'll continue to place the spotlight on today's events and thank you so much to my colleague ENC senior reporter Avi Wimtila out in Marikana expecting AMCU president Joseph Matunja to also give a keynote address but also as you can see a lot of uh, you know South Africans and uh, mine workers including uh, family and friends and loved ones of those uh, who perished on their day coming together uh, to hear uh, what will be said of course as we continue to see those commemorations take place.